Welcome and good morning. Thank you for joining us for Tuesday's Daily Market Review, brought to you by iTrader.com. Prime Minister Theresa May ruled out so-called passporting rights for banks after Brexit, saying Britain could not become a rule taker when it came to financial services. The euro stabilised and ended the week on a balanced note, after German SPD agreed to form a grand coalition government, securing Angela Merkel her fourth term in power. Gold prices were under pressure much of last week, but they were then able to claw back most of their weekly loss in reaction to sharply lower US equity prices and a weaker US dollar. The euro-dollar pair continues its bullish rally, gaining 0.4% in the last session. The speculative sentiment index is showing a two-seller-buyer ratio. Bitcoin has lost 2.8% in the last session. The speculative sentiment index shows a 1.2-buyer-seller ratio. The price of crude oil has performed a minor correction, gaining 0.2% in the last session. The SSI remains balanced. The dollar-yen pair continues depreciating, losing 0.4% in the last session. We see a 1.3 buyer-seller ratio according to the SSI. The US Fed's William Dudley speech will take place at 12.30 GMT. The Australian RBA interest rate decision at 3.30 AM GMT. The UK BRC like-for-like retail sales at 1 minute past midnight GMT. The Swiss Consumer Price Index will be released at 8.15 a.m. GMT. The U.S. Red Book Index at 13.55 GMT. And the Canadian Ivy Purchasing Managers Index at 1500 GMT. Thank you for joining us for Tuesday's Market Outlook. On behalf of all of us here at iTrader, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to log into iTrader.com for all of your trading needs. Your personal account manager is ready to answer all of your questions.